Well, good morning again. Uh, this is uh, Dr. Bob here, and uh, we're going to give our second demonstration on seasoning a carbon steel wok that had a wooden handle on. Uh, this wok was presented to me by Craft Wok, and here's a little sign. Okay, this is where the hand hammering comes in. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the part I took off. This is the handle that was stuck in this part right here. And here's the handle. Okay. And I put the screws in there. These are stainless I'm steel screws. Continue so on now with this. And uh, we're going to coat this with oil. I have my stove here preheated to 450 degrees, if you can see that. And we're going to do that for about, oh, 20 minutes. And I'm going to open up the stove. And I'm going to show you what I did here is I put some tin foil or, um, yeah, tin foil on the bottom rack. And that the, the upper rack is about two inches away, and there's more than enough space from the top of the oven down to the top rack to put the wok in upside down. The, the purpose of tinfoil is to catch any oil drippings that happen to come off. So I'm going to put this back now on the tripod, and I'm going to show you what we're going to do next as far as oiling it, and I'll be right back. What we're going to do is we're going to... Uh, coat this with a real thin coat of uh, grapeseed oil that I got right here. Grapeseed oil. Don't have much, but you don't need much. And what I did is I poured some in a small bowl and I have a paper towel. And when you uh, dry this, you want to make sure it's really dry after you wash it to get all the, the moisture and the water off of it because otherwise the oil is just not going to adhere too well. I'm going to put some in here on this towel and we're just going to wipe it real thin all over. Sorry about the noise. You want a real thin coat, you don't need a whole bunch because we're going to do this a total of three times. And again, I should have done the other side first. <laughs> I did the same thing on the other one. But what I'm going to do... Okay, that's pretty good. I'll come back and do that in a minute. I'm going to turn it over. Don't worry about these brown spots and the, 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 uh, the imperfections like right here too much. They're all straight now. We're not going to cook on that side anyway. But what we want to do is we do not want the, the, the bottom of the wok to rust either. So that's why we're going to season that. I guess rust is, a common, is the best term to use or uh, I probably could use some other term. But rust is fine for right now. You get the point. All right, we're going to wipe this all over real nice and thin. Nice thin coat of oil. We want to get around the rivets too. Over here. One in the back side. I'm going to flip it over. Now I'm going to do the handles. Because we want to do those too. And then I'm going to do this. I'm going to put oil on the inside of this handle here because I want the inside not to rust either. So I'm going to kind of stick it in here like this. Good enough. And all right, we're about ready to put this thing in the oven. I want to just put this down. I'm going to take another clean towel, paper towel, move this out of the way, and I'm going to wipe it down one more time to make sure I have all the excess oil off of this walk. If you take your time and with this procedure, it'll pay off big dividends because you won't have the problems. We want to make it non-stick and uh, not rusty. Okay, what I'm going to do now is we're going to place this. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. I'm going to move this down. And in a minute I'm going to show you. Oh, it's pretty hot, so I got some of these Oh, I don't need that. I'm just going to take this now and I'm going to put this upside down in the oven if I don't crash everything. Wow. Just like that. Let me move the camera down here so you can see what's happening. Okay, right there. Okay, there it is in the oven. And we're just going to close this up now. Like I said, we've got this on 450 degrees, and we're going to set the timer. Oh boy, I think this is the button. Yep, 
We're going to set it for 30 minutes. I'm going to set it for 30 minutes. I say 20, but I'll do 30. We want a little over. Okay, if you, the reflection you may not be see through too well. Okay, got. There we go. We're all set to go. Okay, and I'll be back and I will take it out and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. Stay tuned. You are going to love this. I just took this uh, wok out of the first uh, baking, you might say. For, I left it the first one in for 30 minutes and look how beautifully golden brown that is. Don't worry about this here. What I really have to worry about is getting a new set of gloves because <laughs> these look pretty beat up right here. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool down, give it another thin coat of oil and bake it again upside down. The bottom looks like this. It's looking really good. So we'll be back in a few minutes. All right. I am back. I got my bowl here and I put a little bit. Oh, the oil that I'm using, by the way, is uh, grapeseed oil. Uh, and I put it on there. Now we're just going to wipe this in the pan again all over very lightly. Just use avocado oil. If you're going to uh, use a wok or peanut oil is okay too, but it's it's not as good as this turned out really nice. And I'm gonna get another towel here, wipe it one more time. This pan is actually turning out to be perfect. This brown spot in the center. As you use this uh, wok, what's gonna happen? The whole thing is gonna get more brown. It could even turn black, except for the handles would be pretty because I took them off. <laughs> so, all right, let me open the uh, stove up again and we're gonna put this in and uh, I'll be back. We'll see what the second baking of my cake looks like. I'm back again and uh, what I did is I just finished the second seasoning of my carbon steel pan and it's absolutely looking gorgeous. Oh my goodness, look at that. Nice golden brown. And as we use this, it's going to get darker and darker and darker. I love this method of seasoning. But, uh, I have one more time I'm going to season this. And I, I believe I said the first time I put it in at 30 minutes. Uh, the second time was 20 minutes. And the last time I put it in for 20 minutes. But if you use 20 minutes each time for three times with a light coating of oil between each one, um, it'll turn out just perfect. It's really hard to goof this up. Uh, the oil, of course, I'm using is grapeseed oil. And when you start cooking with this, I would recommend that you use avocado oil or peanut oil. They both have uh, high smoke points, but the healthier one is avocado by a long stretch. So uh, I'll be back as soon as this cools down, re-oil it, get it in the oven, and you'll see what the final results are. Back here, I Come just uh, gave it uh, this pan its final coat of oil on both sides. Looking great. And uh, we're going to put it in the oven now. And... Uh, when I, at the end of 20 minutes, I'll take it out and show you what the final results are. Stay tuned. I can hardly wait to see what the results are on my third seasoning of this wok. So let's find out. Oh my. Here it is. Isn't that a beautiful pan seasoning job? I did one uh, on my first video. It turned out exactly the same. And I'm going to do another one. I have another wok I'm going to season a little bit differently. But this is beautiful. Oh, it's hot right now. Wow. And uh, this actually turned out beautiful. Let me get a nice view of this. And we'll zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Move this down. Isn't that pretty? I think we'll move it down. There we go. All we have to do now is take out the screws in here. Let's have to take the screws out. Put it in there. Tap it. And we're all set. This, this wok is ready to be used. Fully seasoned and non-stick. And like I said before, the more you use it, the darker it's going to get. And one thing I'm going to ask you, um, as a viewer, is if you like these videos, uh, please hit the like button below and subscribe if you want to, because I'm going to have a lot more videos coming up, not only on seasoning, but on how to use a wok 
for an average guy like myself that has a stupid hat on. Okay, so remember, the only reason I have this hat on is because I'm going to put the use some tools to put the handle back on. And uh, when I get done here, put the handle on. Once soon as it cools down, I'll show you what the final product looks like. Thanks for watching. Before I let you go, I want to point out a couple things here. Today on this walk, I, I put the handle in. If you can see, there's a, uh, let's see, there's a little mark right here. And there's a little mark right there. And I put that to line it up so that the holes would line up perfectly. And it's really tight. So what I'm going to do, you probably want to know why I brought my hammer. So I'm going to just tap it. You don't need a lot of pressure. Bingo. Okay. So the holes line up both sides perfectly. And we're just ready to put the screws in, and we are done. Be right back. Okay, I got the handle on, and it really turned out nice. This pan is still hot, this wok. And I'm going to show you what the handle looks like. You can hold up the camera here. I don't do so well. There you go. It's all lined up. The screws are on nice and tight. I imagine you could put some uh, wood glue in there if you wanted to, on top of the screws and then screw it in, but I'm not going to worry about it at this point. But this, this, uh, Wow, just turned out perfect. If you have any questions or comments that you'd like to make about the video, please leave them below. You like my gloves? Leave them below, <laughs> and I'll get to them. I answer all my, my comments and questions. I want to thank you for watching, and have a great day, and happy walking. <laughs>